All right, with uh, box prices going insanely high, I can't afford to even buy a blaster box anymore. What should be about 20 bucks is going for like 75 to 80 in some cases, and even higher in other cases. Uh, so what I could afford was this. I bought this for about the price of what a blaster box of, a mo of modern stuff should be. Uh, it, I'm a little bit upset with the seller. They said it was an unopened sealed box and it's clearly not sealed. And it's clearly been opened. But uh, hopefully they didn't do any pack searching or anything. Because all the packs are, are in there. But uh, anyway with this, I mean some of this pack here is kind of rough looking. But the goal is to find something that will be worth enough to pay for the box itself. And then everything else will be a bonus. The only card that's really worth anything out of this set, 1990 Tops, is the Frank Thomas Rookie card. And even that's not really worth anything unless it's in gem mint condition. Uh, so that's the goal, is find something that's worth getting graded. Uh, there's a handful of other rookie cards uh, in this set. And I don't, I don't, it's going to be tough to find something worth getting graded in here. These are all, uh, Keith Hernandez is ruined. Oh man, it even eight through to the other side of the car. That's too bad. That would have been a nice card. Uh, Dave Clark. These All of these cards are trashed on this pack, pretty much. They're all bent. Um, I'm looking for something in decent shape, and there's nothing in good shape in here. There's a Steve Lyons. Uh, even stuff that I could send out to get signed. Terry Pendleton I could get. But, like I said, these are all bent up. Steve Buscelli. Uh, man, I'm, I'm glad there was no rookie card in that. But, unfortunately, it looks like these are all going to be terrible condition. Um, at least the edges and corners are, should be nice. But the, the packs with the gum in them, it just, they're all bent and folded. Uh, there's one I could get signed. Let's see if that's in decent shape. It's got a little bit of a bend in it, but it's amazing that this the stick of gum can go through and bend and warp every single card in the pack. Felix Jose. Uh, future star. There's a rookie card. Alex Sanchez. That one's got some condition issues. Jason Grimsley. I think that's a rookie card. Yep, that's a rookie card. Jim Rice. Uh, that is going out in the mail. Fred McGriff. I actually have this card signed. Jimmy Jones. Eric Anthony, rookie card. Lonnie Smith. Ricky Henderson in decent shape, actually. That one's, that one's not ruined. Getting good Hall of Famers here. Oral Hershiser. Centering's off on that one. Barry Bonds. Centering is off. I mean, it's getting some good names at least, but nothing that's worth anything yet. My goal, like I said, is a Frank Thomas. But I'm also kind of looking for the, uh, uh, the Juan Gonzalez rookie card. And Nolan Ryan right there. That one's in decent shape. No warps or anything, but the centering is off. Corey Snyder. There's the Juan Gonzalez rookie card I was just talking about. Found that one pretty quick. Uh, it's a little bit warped. No, it's, it's not too bad. It's in decent shape. Good edges, good corners. Off center, not worth having graded, but I will send that to him to see if I can get it signed. Gary Sheffield All-Star second year card. That's another one I'm looking for is King Griffey Jr.'s with the, the All-Star rookie logo on it. Paul Molitor, another Hall of Famer. Lance Parrish. I don't remember Lance Parrish playing for the Angels. That's pretty cool. It's one thing about these old packs like that is you'll find random stuff like this. I had no idea Lance Parrish ever played for the, Rain the Angels.
Oh, there's a Ryan Sandberg I can send off to get signed, but that one's kind of bent in the middle. Go back to the front. Hall of Famers that I like are going over there. Ron Darling. Mark Grace. Is that a Mark Grace rookie card? No. Third year card. Daryl Strawberry. Julio Franco. Tommy Gregg. For some reason, Tommy Gregg won't sign Braves cards. I'm not entirely sure why. But, that's alright. Let's see. Andy Benes, Doug Strange. Glenn Allen Hill. That's pretty cool. Is he is that his rookie card? That might actually be his rookie card. That's pretty cool. Don't have one of Glenn Allen Hill. He played part of 89 with the Blue Jays. But so that might actually be his rookie card. Greg Jeffries second year card. Man, that Glenn Wilson is destroyed. Uh, hmm, Darren Dalton. And that's probably the best centering on any card I've gotten out of this out of this box so far is the Darren Dalton. Of course it's a little warped and the corners are damaged. I did not plan this video out ahead of time, so my legs are killing me right now because I'm hunched over. Let's see. Matt Williams, what's that? Mm, second or third year card. He played for Phoenix the year before in 89, so don't think it's a rookie card. Chris Gwynn, Tony Gwynn's brother. Gary Carter and Fernando Valenzuela. I'm gonna throw Gary Carter over there. Centering's a little bit off, but it's a decent card. Let's see. Dale Murphy, fan favorite. He's kind of tough to get, hit or miss on through the mail. Uh, Joey Bell, that's another one I was, I, I kind of like. This is one of my favorite players, better known as Albert Bell. That's his rookie card. And that actually is in gradable condition. Clay Parker, Mark McGuire. This is why uh, cards from this set in pristine condition command so much money is because it's hard to find anything in, even, in any kind of decent shape. Look at this. Oh. Let's see. Nelson Liriano, that would have been cool to have some years ago because he was a coach through the Texas League that I met several times. Mm, nothing really good in here. That gum is just destroying these cards though. I'm going to pause the video for a second and go get a chair. already coming up at 10 minutes though but uh, or I'm actually yeah 10 minutes now
Herm Winningham, Ozzy Smith. Throw that Ozzy Smith over there with the other Hall of Famers. Oh, cool. There's a checklist that got destroyed there. Edgar Martinez. Let's see. That's a uh, second year guard. I think. Second or third. Carlton Fisk. Badly off center, so I'm not going to bother putting it over there with the other ones. Claudel Washington, Tony Fernandez, back to back there. Mike Smith, Orioles, this is a rookie card. Uh, I don't think he really played too many other years, but he's a local. He's from around here. He lives here. Yep, born in San Antonio, Texas. Kirby Puckett, that's definitely going with the other ones over there. Still have not hit anything that would be really valuable. Even if that Joey Bell graded out as a pristine or Jim Mint or something, it just it still wouldn't command much value. So Doug Drabeck, Will Clark, those are two. Pretty consistent through the mail signers. Andre Dawson as well. That one's going over there. It's basically all this set is good for is through the mail cards. Because if you don't get it back, it's no big deal. If it gets damaged, it's no big deal. Joe Oliver, he's a good signer through the mail. That one will go right here. Ron Gant. Frank Robinson and Sparky Anderson. That's pretty cool. I'm actually uh, going to throw that over there. And Sparky, too, just because. Let's see. This card is hilarious. I love this card. If I can just get it to focus there. Dude looks just like Chet Stedman from Rookie of the Year. From the movie Rookie of the Year. Brett Saberhagen. Is he the one that signs? I think he's the one that's signing. He signs a lot just with a donation, though. Rock Reigns, that's Tim Reigns, Hall of Famer. John Franco. I mean, I'm getting some cool cards that I'm probably going to send out and get autographed, but nothing that's really making this worth paying what I paid for it. Even though I got a fairly decent deal on it. Come on, I can't get the gum off of there. First duplicate I think I've gotten. Alex Sanchez, future star. Oh, Jason Grimsley, another duplicate. This whole pack was 
duplicates pretty much from the second half there. Jim Rice, Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff should be in the Hall of Fame. There's Eric Anthony again, Felix Jose. That's the exact same one that was damaged by the gum earlier. Ooh, that's that sucks to have that one get damaged by the gum. Fred Lynn, not exactly a valuable card, but cool guy or yeah. One of my favorite players, Dan Plezak, Kirby Puckett, that one over there, Charlie O'Brien, I think he's, is he a catcher? Yeah, he's the one who pretty much invented the modern catcher's gear, or popularized it anyway, Dwight Gooden, Rafael Palmero, not a rookie card, I think this is a third year card, yep, wow, he never played in the minor leagues, that's insane. He just went straight to the major leagues in 86 with the Cubs. I did not know that. Jack Morris, Dante Bichette, Bobby Valentine. And I'm, I don't, I think I'm just barely coming up on halfway down. Oh man. Cardinals record Brady breaker 89 ruined by the gum. It's a Vince Coleman, which I could have gotten this signed, but it's ruined. Brett Butler. Turn back the clock. Johnny Bench. There we go. That one's in decent shape. This is one Hall of Famer for some reason. I just don't have any stuff on. I don't have his autograph. I can't think of any cards that I have of his. I know I've probably got other cards somewhere. And that one's actually in really good shape, well centered. If it was worth anything, I would get it graded. Jack Clark. I like those turn back the clock cards. Scale that might be a rookie card. I think that's a rookie. Eddie Murray off center. Doug Descinzo or Descinzo, however you want to pronounce it. Former San Antonio Missions manager. There's a nice Tony Gwynn. It's unfortunately off center, but that's the first one I've gotten of him, so I'm gonna throw that over there. Robin Yant, the original Giancarlo Stanton, Mike Stanton, Juan Nieves, the only Brewers pitcher to ever throw a no-hitter. I could get his autograph right now. Uh, there's, I think he's available on past pros, but I don't feel like spending that kind of money on it right now. Vance Law. I think he signs pretty well through the mail. Tony Pena. Don Mattingly. That's unfortunately off centered. stuff up later. Probably vacuum off my bed because all this gum residue and stuff everywhere. Let's see. Frank White, one of my favorite players. Guy was awesome. If you ever got a chance to meet him in person, he signed everything. Royals Hall of Fame. Not the actual Hall of Fame, but the Royals Hall of Fame. 
um, over here, not off camera looking at them. Jamie Moyer, Dave Cohn, Swindell, Dave Johnson, Gary Pettis, Matt Williams, another Chris Gwynn. That one, that one's going with my Hall of Fame stack, even though he's not actually in the Hall of Fame. He should be. I've actually got some cards out to him right now through Past Pros. He used to sign everything for free, but he hasn't really signed much through the mail. And, uh, yeah, so Past Pros has a contract with him now. Let's see, Mike Shosha. Ken Hill. There's the Ken Groovy Jr. Off center, unfortunately. But it's in decent shape. It has a surface issue right there, though, so it's not really gradable. That would probably come back as a maybe an 8. Joe Girardi. When was he a rookie? Oh, this is a Joe Girardi rookie card. It's unfortunately off center as well. Gerald Perry. He just did a private signing. Robin Ventura, that's a rookie. Yep. He burned through the, the minor leagues. He was, played for Birmingham and then Chicago. He made his uh, major league debut his first professional year. Uh, unfortunately, he's kind of tough to get as far as autographs go. Uh, I, mean, I think he signed pretty well in person, especially when he was playing. But can't really find it or get to him now. And here's another one that's unfortunately going to be destroyed by the gum. Deceased pitcher Steve Olin. He was killed in a boat crash, boat accident. John Zimmer. That one's pretty well centered. He should be in the Hall of Fame if he's not. Just because he was around for forever. Walt Weiss, Danny Tartable, he was a big star for a while. John Crook, that one's terribly off center. Uh, but Steve Sachs, that one looks like it might be centered well. It's kind of bad top to bottom there. Mike Schmidt, Mike Schmidt had just retired after this. That'll go over there. Kirk Gibson, Todd Zeal, rookie card, future star. Be nice if I could find a address or something for him. Get him. To, I got a bunch of stuff for him to sign. Of course, I don't send a whole lot of stuff out at once. I just send like one or two items. Still no sign of that Frank Thomas that I'm looking for. Andres Galarraga. Eric Davis. Just got some stuff back from Eric Davis from a private signing. Another Mike Smith. Another Kirby Puckett. That one's in pretty bad shape. You got a nice one over there, though. Of course, it was a turn back the clock of Sandy Koufax, which, man, yeah, I don't know if you can see the damage done to the, like the gum bled through all over right here. So that would have been an awesome card to have, but it was ruined. Marty Barrett, old fan favorite. kind of a lack 
blockbuster pack. That Sandy Koufax card would have really made up for that pack, but of course. I'm so glad Topps decided to stop putting gum in their products like this, or every baseball company, baseball card company decided to stop doing that. There's another Hall of Famer that got ruined, Roberto Alomar. Not quite a rookie card, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but yeah. Oh, this one's got a turn back the clock in it too. Let's see if that turn back the clock makes up for losing the Koufax. There we go, Fred Lynn, hey. Makes up for losing my Fred Lynn earlier that I had. That was damaged. This one's in pretty good shape. That'll go over there. There's a Nolan Ryan 5,000 strikeout. Harold Baines, another Hall of Famer. I don't really remember him playing for the Rangers. Man, that guy. How long did this guy play? Jeez. Because he's in some of my more modern sets, like 2001 or something. Yeah, I throw that one over there. Ken Patterson, he was a coach in the Texas League that I've met a bunch of times. There's another nice Nolan Ryan. That one's unfortunately been damaged. Mookie Wilson, damaged. Kent Herbeck, damaged. Randy Reddy, he was another. Was he the missions manager? I think he was. A lot of guys that have come through San Antonio at some point. sure a lot of these guys will come back eventually too as coaches if the minor league season ever or if we even get to keep our minor league team let's see Dave Anderson George Brett Hall of Famer off center of course Bo Jackson, this one's actually centered pretty well, but it's got some surface issues. Tim Cruz. I want to say Dave Anderson came through as a coach, too. Uh, this one's one that I would really like to send out. The front doesn't look too bad, but the back of it's kind of ruined by the gum here. Oh wait, that's not even actually what I was looking at. Oh, yep, yeah, the front of it is Daryl Evans. I was so distracted by the card looking good that I didn't read the name on it. Daryl Evans is one that I would like to send out too, but I won't be sending that one. Oil can void. Greg Maddox is a nice Hall of Famer. That one's in good shape. Uh, Gary Thurman was also a missions coach. Dwight Evans. That actually kind of makes up for the Daryl Evans being damaged. I don't think I have anything of Dwight Evans. I'll be sending that out. You know what, I'm... Uh, come on, get off of there. Oh, anyway, Sid Fernandez. Doyle Alexander. Kurt Ford. Ozzy Smith. And... Decent shape. Mike Marshall. John Smoltz. 
It's probably a third third gear card. Throw that over there with the Hall of Famers. Still haven't hit the money card yet. There's another one you have is that's damaged by the gum. It'd be nice to get something that wasn't destroyed in this box. Ah, oh, look at that, it just tore it right off the back. Yep, well, there we go. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Tops. Okay, let's see. Randy Johnson. A little bit warped, but yeah, it's got some staining on the back, so I won't be throwing that with the Hall of Fame pile. Robin Yant, already got one over there. Garbage card out of the way. Pete O'Brien. We'll say Riho just did a private signing. Mark Gardner, future star. The other Joe Morgan. Willie McGee, he's on on uh, past pros right now. Barry Larkin, Bobby Witt, senior. That's pretty cool. Is that a He's gaining a lot of popularity right now because his son is the number one prospect in the world. Jim Deshays, Willie Randolph. I would actually like to send something to Bobby Witt. He's a machine signing through the mail right now, so I'm going to put that with the rookie pile for some reason. Ugh, man, how long is this video already? 32 minutes. If you've stuck around this long, I hope we get a payoff here with the Frank Thomas card. Destroyed. What do we got here? Eric Davis All Star card also destroyed. Kevin Mitchell. Delano De Shields. That's a rookie card. He's on Pass Pros right now. I've actually got some cards out to him as well. Kind of taking his time sending them back. Dave Parker is also on Pass Pros. Barry Lyons. Ugh. Almost done. I'm down to the last four packs. And what? Oh, I didn't realize there was cards on the bottom of the box. I can't believe I didn't get a single uh, Frank Thomas card yet. Should have had a couple of them in here. Also kind of looking for the Sammy Sosa, but I don't know if that's... There's a David Wells. Uh, Jose Uribe. I just struck it rich. That's a thousand dollar card right there. Don Slot. Don Slot of Don Slot. Three more packs. And that one got ruined. Let's see. BJ Surhoff. That's not a rookie, I don't think. Nope. Fred McGriff, the base card. I'll throw that over there. Donnell Nixon. Steve Finley. Cal Ripken. There we go. Whitey Herzog. Actually, I might send this to him. He's pretty good through the mail. Danny Heap. A lot of uh, Hall of Famers in this one. Here's a... 
I saw Goose. I thought it was going to be Goose Gassage, but it's Goose Gazzo. I've never even heard of that guy, but there's another 5,000K. Nolan Ryan. Dennis Eckersley, another Hall of Famer. Wow. That pack was kind of loaded. Two more packs to go. And I'm pretty sure somebody probably searched through this box because it was unopened. Or it was supposed to be unopened. But... I don't know. I don't know how you would search through. But, I mean, all these cards are beat up anyway. There's a number one draft pick. I hadn't pulled any of those yet. Jeff Jackson. Mike Morgan, the guy that played forever. Cito Gaston. I think Cito Gaston had some. Yep, Cito Gaston's a San Antonio guy, too. Dave Stewart. I want to say Dave Stewart's a, an agent now. T oh, man. He's got a Hall of Fame rookie card right here, and it's destroyed. Deion Sanders. Of course, he's in the NFL Hall of Fame, but... Man, that would have been an awesome card to get in decent shape. This was, I, I forgot this card was in this set. And I really would have liked to have uh, gotten a decent one. But of course, it's destroyed. It's got this ugly stain across his face. Uh, let's go see. Last chance for my Frank Thomas. Will Clark, Sandy Alomar, Joe Carter, Tommy Lasorda, Jeff Reardon, Rob Dibble. Well, that was a tremendous waste of time and money. So, uh, let's see what's on the back of the box here. We've got Jim Rice, Cal Ripken, Nolan Ryan, and Ryan Sandberg. Four Hall of Famers. That's actually pretty cool. It's too bad this box is beat up. But anyway, I'm going to just load all this stuff up in here. Uh, I didn't get a damn thing out of this box. Not a single card that was, that's really worth anything. So I won't be sending any of this off to be graded, but I probably will be sending a bunch of them out to get signed. Very disappointed, but this is all I can afford at the moment. I can't afford to get any of this, any of these new cards that are coming out in these boxes that are just going for crazy amounts of money. There's no reason to be paying hobby box prices for blaster boxes. It doesn't make any sense, and I'm not going to do that. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.